So is there any more uh, game-like Pokemon games that are coming out? Yeah, um, so Pokemon Sun and Moon are coming out in uh, November, which is um, exciting if you're a huge Pokemon fan. Yeah, will um, they be as good as X and Y? Um, I don't know. I can't promise you anything. I hope they're better. Yeah, yeah. I, I also hope they're better. I think I think they will be. I, all the stuff they've announced so far actually looks really cool. Yeah. And it looks like they're trying to change it up some this time. Where X and Y was just pretty garbage. Yeah, um, X and Y, I mean, I played through whatever it wasn't what I wanted from a Pokemon game. Um, I don't think it was what anybody wanted. No. Um, I, I, I don't like that art style that much. I did go and play um, Omega Ruby, Alpha Sapphire, or something. Mega Sun Sapphire. Yeah, that those two, with the same art style, but I enjoyed them more. Um, I still didn't enjoy them that much, though. I don't know. It's not. It's not that like I'm this huge Gen One fan, and that's all I'm ever gonna be. It's just that I just didn't like them. Yeah. Um, I think you've got some notes for all the stuff that's been announced. Mm -hmm. Uh. I just kind of wanted to go over like a couple of the things that I thought were really cool. Yeah. Uh, the executor form that's a palm tree. Um, like, that's pretty tight. Yeah. Did you see the fighting animation like where it's on the screen and like its head is actually so high up it's not on the screen. <laughs> All you see is like its body and its <laughs> neck, and then it like slams down on the other the other Pokemon. Slams down on Dragonite. Yeah, like that was pretty tight. Because for whatever reason he's a dragon type now. Yeah, he's a grass slash dragon. Whatever. whatever. He's a. <laughs> Freaking tree. That's not a yeah. dragon. Yeah, he's pretty. I think it's pretty. Well, they said something like it's based off of a some kind of dragon fruit tree or something. I don't know. <laughs> but uh, his design is just really funny. It's pretty. Um, funny. I love the Vulpix and Nine Tails stuff. <gasps> Nine Tails is one of my like dark horse Pokemon that I love to play with, and this is just beautiful. Yeah, I would play with it all day long. I mean, it's the, it's they're both they got ice types, and they did it with Sandshrew and Sand Slash too, which is I don't I didn't think it was nearly as cool. Like, and like yeah. it actually makes sense for Bulbapex and Ninetales because they're fire type normally. Yeah. So now they're in like it's basically Hawaii. Yeah. And they're ice type, yeah. and like they actually look super dope. Yeah, and uh, Ninetales becomes a fairy. It's a fairy type. Yeah, they haven't said. I don't think they've said how it works yet. Like, are they new entries? Are they just like? Sub entries yeah. or what? Or is um, is this the Vulpix and Nine Tails of this game? But like just those things, just like Vulpix and Nine Tails looking like that, and mm -hmm. Executor looking like that, yeah, makes me be like, wow, I kind of want this. Yeah, I think I think they're gonna be new entries because they have different typing. Yeah, like there's also going to be the original Vulpix and Nine Tails, plus this one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like maybe it's called Vulpix and then it has in like parentheses Aloha version yeah. or something. I don't know. I don't know. Or, or you know, maybe maybe it's not a new Nine Tails. Maybe it's a Nine Tails that has an Aloha Stone. Yeah, that's true. I mean, they yeah. haven't said, did they? Have yeah. they? They just said that they are like um, Aloha forms. So maybe there's like maybe Aloha forms. Like these are just the ones they've shown us. But that's just something you can do. Like you get an executor yeah. and give them this item, and they turn into an Aloha form. And then his neck just like extends like a giraffe. I think that would actually make more sense to me because I think the the Pokedex thing is like a big hurdle. For me, like how that's gonna work out. If this is yeah. if this Pokemon is still called Vulpex, uh -huh. it's gonna be in the same entry because you can't change that entry because then you're gonna mess up the first 150 entries if, you, yeah. if you're taking these from there and changing them. Uh, I don't know if you can do sub -en sub entries. I know I like know. there's been Pokemon before that had different designs, yeah, but they're not. But I don't think they've been different typing. Yeah, um, just... like Rodon. Yeah. Rodon can have be different types. Oh yeah, absolutely. Doesn't each of those forms have a different Pokedex entry? I don't know. I don't know. And then I'm still confused on how the whole Zygarde thing works. Yeah, I don't. I have no idea. Zygarde 10%. Zygarde 3%. So are all these just the same? I guess, no, it's just the same. Oh. So all the different forms of Rotom are just the same. And he does have different types. Number. Uh, yeah, I knew they were all different types. Yeah. Depending on what appliance he turns into. But he's the same number. No matter what. Okay, so I mean, maybe they're just gonna do that then. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know anything about the newer Pokemon games because, yeah. I mean, I would say this is the first one that they've shown stuff for, and I was like, wow, that's really cool. Yeah. Uh, since, um, Heart Blue Gold. and Red came out. <laughs> I was gonna say Heart Gold and Soul Silver. Yeah, but those were remakes of old ones, and they looked yeah. great. And I actually bought both of those yeah. when they came out, and I loved them. They were great. Well, I played Heart Gold. 
Um, but yeah, I guess we'll see. I, I guess maybe that will, maybe that, maybe it will, because and like that's what Rotom is. You give him an item, and he yeah. turns into one of those other forms. Yeah. So maybe that's what these are too. Yeah, could be. Um, I don't know. I'm really looking forward to Nine Tails though. Yeah, this Nine Tails is gorgeous. Super cool. Nine Tails. Super cool. Super gorgeous. Um, and there are also some Pokemon that will vary based on which island you find them on. Yeah, it's like a bug type or something, or a plant type or whatever. There and was it was a, like there's one free Thailand. There was a there was a bird. Oh, it's a bird. Or Corio, I think is how you say his name. Or 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 Corio, and he has four unique styles and four unique types. So there's just there's four islands and there's four different types of him. One one island he's fire and flying. One is electric and flying. One is psychic, and then one is ghost. Um, but that's neat. And it looks different on each island. So I would assume that he's kind of the same way. Like, he's going to be one, one entry, entry, but there's four of him. So I, I'm i interested to see how this works. I'm sure they... I mean, they've obviously done it before. I just... I don't know how it works. I've never yeah. played enough of it to, uh, yeah. to figure it out. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, the Volpix 9 tells part still the best. Yeah. Uh, they introduced a bunch of new Pokemon. Some were kind of lame looking. Some were cool. Uh, yeah, um, yeah. I don't, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about the horse thing. Like it's okay looking. Which one was the horse? Mudbray. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's okay. Yeah. And they showed like its devolved form, or maybe that's the devolved form. I don't remember. They showed both forms. Yeah. Like, a younger one that looks kind of like a donkey, and then like an older one that yeah. looks like a big Clyde sail. <laughs> yeah. Pretty much. Um, and then they also introduced something to do with like ride Pokemon. Yeah, it kind of makes it look like maybe HM slaves are out the door. Which would be cool. Yeah, that's totally, totally fine with me. Um, I, I mean, mean it kind of sucks to waste one of your six Pokemon on an HM Slave. Yeah, be like, uh, let's see, I need someone to fly, but I don't really want Charizard to know fly. Mm -hmm. So let me go catch this Pidgey real quick. Yep. Um, like in, uh, with Latios and Latias, when they could soar and, like, you were up above everything and flying around. Um, that was Omega, Ruby and Sapphire. Sure. Um, that's the one that I played that they were in. They could have been in others. But, um... Like regular Ruby and Sapphire? No. No? Like X and Y, probably. No, Latios and Latios or from before that? Well, I mean, they're like Heart Gold and Hulk Gold. I mean, like they're in Heart Gold and uh, Silver, too. I mean, the Soar. Because I don't think you could Soar in that one. I don't know. I have no idea. But that was cool. That was a cool addition. To Soar above everything. It's super slow compared to, like, Fly. But it's still cool to, like, fly above everything and be able to look and see it. Mm -hmm. Um, and then they showed, like, you're riding on a on a Taurus or whatever, and which they kind of introduced in another one where you could ride on Ride On. Um, but it's nice to see them bringing that in. Cool. Um, what else we got? There's rumors that there will be no gems. I just can't see them going away from gems. Going away from gems. Um, that could, because what they're talking about is called the Island Challenge, where each of the four islands you compete to become the strongest trainer on the island. I can't see them not only going away from gyms, but cutting the number in half. Yeah. As well. I can't see that. Yeah. Um, so with with the island challenge, you face off against trial captains. There's one trial captain per, uh, per island, and then um, when you get to the end of the trials, you battle um, totem Pokemon, which can call in other Pokemon for help. That's cool. Um, I think it's a good I, idea. I just, I just, I hope it's an addition to gems, not, not replacing, them. not replacing. Them. Yeah, but with the end, like you compete against like the trial, um, the trial captains or whatever, and then you get to fight the Kahuna's, mm -hmm. which I don't know. Like I guess people are considering those to be the new gym leaders, but hopefully they're not. Hopefully there's just like, like you said, an addition yeah. to to gym leaders. Um, but um, I don't want to lose traditional gym battles. Like, that's Pokemon. Pokemon are gym battles. That's what I want. Yeah. I hope it's an addition. Yeah. And then um, something else to go with this is Z-moves. Like Dragon Ball Z-moves? Like, like, we're going to have like some Kamehameha. Like Kamehameha. That would work because it happens in Hawaii. So. Some, like, uh, um, Final Flash, you know, uh, Big Bang Attack. You know, the good stuff. Cool. Um, they can be used once, what's it, once, once per match, and um, there's a Z move for every type, 
which I guess yeah. is like every Pokemon. But did you see the little bracelet you can get? And you can wear it. It has like the different. You can get the different colored yeah. gems with it. Yeah, I saw that. And wear it when you're playing it. It's it's kind of the same, um, the same idea that they had like when they did the Mega Bracelet, Mega Evolution Bracelet for. Uh, oh, did X they do Y. that? Mm-hmm. Yep. There Lame. Was, there was a bracelet you could get, and you could put a Mega Stone in. Lame. Um, yeah. Pretty pretty much. Cool. And then there were some new leaks uh, here even more recently. Uh -huh. Yesterday, actually. Cool. Yep. What? From Coral Coro. We got a leak um, that revealed even more of the Alola Pokemon um, special forms. So, like, Meowth has one, where he's a dark-type Pokemon now, um, which uh, a lot of people are... So, like, is he a black cat? Kinda. Like, he's blackish-purple. Cool, I didn't see that one. Let's see. Um, so, there's a lot of people assuming that, like, Persian may end up with one, um, which, okay. Okay. Um, what else? We also got Marowak. Getting in the Loba form, um, he become he or she, however you want to look at it, becomes a fire and ghost type. Ghost makes sense. Yeah, ghost absolutely makes sense because he's wearing a dead person's skull. Yeah, and in in the anime, he's dead. So <laughs> all of the Aloha forms that have been announced so far are Gen One Pokemon. Yes, they are. They haven't announced anything that's not a Gen One Pokemon that has one of these forms. No, not for the Alola forms. Huh. Yeah. They're all from the original 150. That's interesting. I wonder if that is... I mean, obviously it's on purpose they've done that, but I wonder why. Like, are they only going to have Gen 1 Aloha forms? I don't know. Or... What? Are they riding this Pokemon Go 150 wave? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, they are the best. Riding it. Um, and then they also revealed uh, some new Pokemon for us as well. Sunaba and Shiro Desuna. Okay. I hope those are Japanese names and they get translated over here. Oh, is that the Sandcastle thing? Yeah, those are the Sandcastles. I don't care. Uh, they are ghost ground I mean, it's type. better than a key. Yeah. Or a key chain. Or upside down ice cream cone. Or upside down ice cream cone. Or washing machine. Um, they're ghost ground type sandcastles. Um, whatever. Uh, Nuiko Guma? Nuiko Guma? Mm -hmm. Pre evolution of Beware? Yeah, I think Beware looks stupid. Um, yeah, I'm hoping these are Japanese names. And those They're are definitely the Japanese names. Uh, it'll definitely be called, like, Yogi Bear. Yo beware -a more. Oh, you know what? It'll be Boo Boo, and then it'll turn into Yogi. Oh. Uh, and then we have a fish Pokemon. Um, Yoshi? Yowashi. Yoshi. Yowashi. Yoshi. Yoshi. So, that's cool. And we also know the identity of the uh, evil team that's going to be on this island. It's going, instead of like Team Rocket or Team Magma, it's going to be Team Skull. So is that over both versions? Yes. Because that, do they not do the different bad guys in each version anymore? Uh, no. No, I think, um, let's see, because Mag it was Magma and who was the other one for Ruby and South? I don't know, the one that wants everything to Team be flooded Aqua. and the one Aqua that wants everything to be flooded. and Magma. Um, <sighs> jerk, yeah. jerk one and Jerk two. Yeah, pretty much. So we know, like, we know who their one of their boss names. We know one of the female members' names. I don't um, know. And basically, what this does is it disproves the four chan leak that was out earlier this week. Oh, uh, because that's never happened before. Yeah, four chan has never been disproved before. Nope. Um, so any interest? Yes. Uh, this would be the first time, like I said earlier, this is the first time in a long time that I've seen something about a po new Pokemon game and been like, this looks pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Uh, other than saying, like, seeing new Pokemon saying, that looks really dumb. Yeah. Um, I, if they're doing this uh, island challenge thing, plus they're going to have gyms, uh, I'm going to say this would be a, 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 a day one purchase for me. Mm -hmm. If they're just doing the island challenge thing, I'm going to have to wait to see reviews. Yeah. Um, I'm going to get it. There's a, there's a special deal on Amazon they've got right now. Of course. Uh, yeah. It's a... Uh, it's a steel case, and I love steel cases, um, but like one side is the moon, one side is the sun. Oh, okay. Um, okay. And then you open it up and you can put both carts in it. Is one side red and one side's blue? Yeah. That's all I care about. And, uh, and um, uh, then, then you get both games. You get both games in this bundle and it's like 75 bucks. Oh, that's cool. For both both games. So it's $5 off and you get a steel book. Yeah, both games and a steel book. Both physical games. The 75 before the Amazon Prime discount? Um, 
No. Oh, maybe. That's even better deal then. Yeah. But it, I'm, I'm getting it. I'm, I was going to end up with both of them anyway. Cool.